I'm going to go at a quick, fast pace because I have a lot to share with you. And remember, we're all adults here. Trading financial instruments using contract stocks or options is extremely risky. Only trade with money you can afford to lose. Past results do not guarantee future results. Please consult a licensed professional prior to trading using real money. Paper trade to learn any new concepts. Paper trade regardless of your level of expertise. Okay. Now, the way this thing works, I'm going to spend about 45 seconds, maybe one minute, to tell you who I am, what I do, and then it's strictly going to be just education. That's the way I operate. I've been trading for 25 years in some form or fashion, whether it's uh, stocks or ETFs or futures. Um, boy, I had a broker years ago taught me into buying Chrysler bonds when they looked like they were going to go out of business. I mean, you know, I've done quite a few things. In 2008, I launched a Hit the Mark Trading, a teaching newsletter with trade strategies. My clients wanted me to put this in video format, so every night, Monday through Thursday, I make a video, and we're basically working from the right edge of the chart. All right? Uh, on the weekend, I do a trade weekly review, and that's to give everyone a big picture. I do a total immersion intensive boot camp that Renee mentioned four times a year. Um, it's for position trading, swing trading, and then a little bit of day trading. However, in 2015, I launched Just Day Trade, intensive total immersion day trading course. And it's the course I wish that I had found when I was first getting into the business. Um, again, I've had different indicators experience, everything I talk about, Today, we'll work on anything with the one requirement. We must have momentum. I've uh, spoken at various trading conferences and provided numerous webinars, including for ICE and CME, promoting a relaxed, simplified method of trading. Now, this is who I am. This is who's talking to you. This is my trading room, my home. Okay. And... Everything I do is designed to help you become your own expert. I call trades educational trades, and you watch them unfold, practicing on paper, risking no money. This is the only way you can take ownership of the process. So the newsletter video reinforces your learning, and like anything in life, repetition is the key to winning. So basically, we look at charts in an all-encompassing point of view, price action, price oscillator, linkage between markets, oh yeah, and seasonality, like Pat mentioned, he watches. So, if you'd like to get an idea of how I speak to my audience, every morning, I get up early and I write a morning newsletter. It's just a, it takes me about an hour to an hour and a half to write. It takes you about two to three minutes to read it, okay? I scan the news, and then I look at the charts, and I just write, you know, what I think is important. It's just my opinion. So it's a trader's perspective before you start the day. So if you're interested in this, you can go to uh, hitthemarktrading.com and go to the contacts page. You'll find it. You can also send me an email. I just put my email there in the, uh, in the chat. Okay, the boot camp, I just held it. I've got recordings available. Um, again, this is for position traders or a little bit, it will dabble a little bit in day trading. For the day trading, which is by far a lot of people want this, we just held this course. The next time I hold this in a live format is going to be in January 2017. The recordings are just like being there, okay? Now, let's get started. Our feature presentation. Are you ready? What is momentum trading? Momentum trading is the art of spotting a market ready to move, selecting a trade, entering the trade with confidence, and utilizing predetermined exit points. Okay? And without going any further, let me just show you. Now, this is simulated results taken today from the live room. Okay? So, I had a bias going into today's trading. I'll tell you that I had a bias. I didn't want to use any runners. So I made about a third of what you see on this screen. 
But what I'm telling you is, the market was moving. So this was an incredible day for day trading. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay? Uh, if we take out this uh, 150 bucks, you can see it was quite a nice day for, for day trading. The key, momentum. Okay? The key, momentum. All right, momentum trading builds off a firm understanding of support and resistance along with known areas prices attracted toward moving. Trading up or down directionally, riding the price wave rather than reacting to what might happen. Usually it's accompanied by an oscillator. And we can use this for intraday or even short-term trading holding over a few days or weeks. Today I'm talking about day trading. First thing you want to do, determine the trend. Intraday trading, you're going to use the daily chart for the big picture, and you're going to use the short-term chart for your tactical entry. The more volatile the market, the smaller the time frame you can use. Remember, markets move in three directions, up, down, and sideways. If the markets are sideways, we are greatly challenged unless the range is large. So it is imperative that we find moving markets. What this means is, ES futures traders, you, you know, there's going to be times you have to expand your horizon to other futures showing movement if the ES is absolutely sitting there. So today, for example, before the ES really took off, it was doing absolutely nothing, moving in a range of $200. That's a no-go rule for me. No-go rule. Because by the time you get in, it'll go against you. So you just wait. But crude was moving. Gold was moving. Now, to identify trend, we're going to bracket price with trend lines on the daily chart and the intraday chart. And we understand this highly technical concept. Price is going to bang back and forth between the price trend lines. So, great example. Here is crude right here now. This is the daily chart. So, in the daily chart, let me get my uh, bouncing ball here. What I see is a series of higher lows and lower highs. So in other words, this is just trading sideways in a very, very large range on the daily chart. Okay? So I have the lay of the land right here. I've got the lay of the land. If you're wanting to know what these dots are, I'm not going to go into these signals, these arrows, but I do have this, uh, my system coded. Okay? I've got my system coded. And um, it would take me too long to, to talk about that. It's available if you want to find out more about it. Just let me know. Now, we go to the daily chart. Now, here's the daily chart. I'm sorry, um, forgive me. The 10 range bar chart. Now, what the 10 range bar chart shows you, let me get my bouncing ball. Okay, we were in an uptrend. And then sometime during the night, 6.30 in the morning, I should say, pre-market, we change the trend. So it's always an event when we break here. Absolutely. Always an event. And then we start moving down. Now, I want you to look at this. this I, I put this together yesterday. And this is an actual trade that was generated and taken on this um, trading platform, the, uh, the, the program trading. And um, it's semi-automatic in that you decide if you're going to take the signal or not. It's basically everything I teach. But notice here, it's already got a $460 profit. So I'm just making this presentation as I'm watching this thing, OK? All right. Um, let's move on. Notice how it's always an event when we break the lines. So, understand trend lines, support and resistance is huge in momentum trading. Learn to identify probable areas price wants to touch over and over again. Let's briefly talk about an oscillator. Oscillators derive their power from price movement. So for this reason, you really need to understand how to read price action at support and resistance areas. The oscillator then provides a trigger point for entry. Now, here's what most traders look like when they're trying to figure out which oscillator to use, and then they feel like, oh, I know what I've got now. Remember the story about the six blind men, right? Six blind men go up to an elephant, and each one is feeling a different part of the elephant. 
and, and they're trying to describe what they feel, and no one is describing anything the same. Well, that's a lot of the way that some of these indicators are. People, you know, somebody says, hey, this MACD is really something. That's all I need. I know exactly what I got here. Someone else says, no, no, I like the RSI, this RSI. Well, here's percent R, and maybe this guy says Bollinger Bands. And then, no, no, I got to have something expensive and proprietary. And then the guy back here says, uh, hey, it uh, feels like slow stochastics. Slow stochastics is, the, is the, the trick, right? So tons of oscillators exist. Everyone has their personal favorite. In the beginning years, I, on, on the uh, position trading, I used slow stochastics, MACD, Williams percent R, and RSI. I probably threw the Bollinger Bands on there. At present, I use one indicator after years of trading and my desire to simplify. So I use the Commodity Channel Index, also called the CCI. Let's have an understanding, and this is extremely important. In a strong momentum market, all price oscillators work. And I'm telling you, everything works. It doesn't matter if it's free or if it costs thousands of dollars. In a strong momentum market, all price oscillators will work. In a tight range market, Here's the kicker. All price oscillators are going to lose their predictive value, and that's just the way it is. This is the truth, all of them. So it's one more reason that you must monitor several markets looking for momentum. Now, what is the CCI, the Commodity Channel Index? is a price oscillator created by Donald Lambert. In a moving market, the CCI is shown to lead price. Now, don't take my word for it. Okay, check out John Murphy's take in his book, Technical Analysis of the Financial Markets. Okay, um, his book is required reading for people that want to become a certified, I'm sorry, a chartered market technician, something like that. He spends about maybe half a page talking about the CCI, but what I want you to see is this statement right here, this beautiful statement. Are you ready? Notice that the CCI turns before prices. Wow. At each top and bottom. Got that? Notice that the CCI turns before prices at each top and bottom. Well, what's he talking about? Okay, CCI turns and price turns. CCI turns up, price goes up. CCI up, price goes up. What we like to say is that we have at least about a one day, a one bar advance notice. Okay? Now, the danger of following a momentum indicator is in a very strong market, price just keeps chugging along, and you're getting a signal, hello, uh, momentum might be leaving the party. Okay? We understand that. Okay, let me get back over here. So, now, the CCI is a price oscillator. All you need to know is that we are comparing price with a simple moving average over a selected time span. Mr. Lambert suggested a 20-day period. Other people have modified Lambert's suggestion for intraday use, including a 14, a 6, a five. How do you calculate this? Well, don't worry about it. Your software platforms have this task automated. So the user defines the time period. I'll show you the calculation. You can study it on your own time. But I tell you, if I look at this too long, my eyes will totally glaze over. Okay? All right. Here's what I want you to know. Number one, if you're going to be day trading, I think you should be a visual trader. That's my opinion. The CCI is plotted on a histogram. I'm going to show you this. The zero line represents major support and resistance. The 100 and 150 line represent minor support and resistance. Okay, let's look at this. By the way, here's that crude trade up $500 now. So, zero line. Here is the 100 line. Here's the minus 100 line. The 150 line, that's important, minus 150. And the 200, 
and the minus 200, okay? This is the histogram. So we're saying that the zero line represents major support and resistance. Therefore, if the CCI is over the zero line, we have an upward bias. If the CCI is below the zero line, we have a downward bias. Okay? Good. Let's go on. Get rid of this, uh, some of my drawings here. Now the diagonal trend line break, we're going to give, um, this is your free deal today, okay? A trading system you can immediately test. Diagonal trend line break, very powerful, auspicious. Start drawing this from the plus or minus 150 line. It's a very simple concept. Simple concepts work, and the diagonal trend line break is a wonderful tool, okay? So here we go. Look at the histogram now. So change this to a pen. I'm going to draw this here like we got it. We're starting below the uh, one minus 150 line. Okay, that's a requirement. Come up. So here's our diagonal trend line break. It says, I broke it. I'm ready to go lower, right? That's what he says. And we look at price and what happened. My goodness, we went lower. Okay, absolutely. Another one. This diagonal trend line break. Go lower, right? What happened? Well, my goodness, we went lower, right? Okay, this is yesterday. Um, diagonal trend line break. Well, here's one. Go lower, yep. What happened up here? Well, we went a bit lower, but not much. Not much. This one would have probably been a little loser here, okay? Because it didn't, it just didn't go much. Now, one of the benefits about drawing these trend lines is when you can at least connect these three bodies, extend it out, and it's uncanny how it's touched again. Diagonal trend line break here. All right. Well, here's our signal from the software package. I'm not here to sell this today, but my goodness, it was a nice trade. Diagonal trend line break up here, well, um, didn't really go anywhere. Didn't really go anywhere. Now, another thing that I use and teach triggered this right here. But that's not a part of the diagonal trend line break. So I'm not going to cover it. But this, this look, now we're at 570. 570 on this slide. Nice. Diagonal trend line break says, okay, you can still get in. We're still good to go higher. Good. Now, for intraday use, and this is important, for intraday use, adjust the CCI from the default 20 to 14. Okay? Adjust the CCI from the default 20 to the 14. You can do that easily. Remember, go with smaller time frames in moving markets with good range. And when I say time frames, I mean smaller charts. Chart, and I personally prefer activity-based charts rather than just picking a number and saying, well, I'm going to look at a five-minute chart. No. I prefer an activity-based chart. What's that? Tick, volume, range bar, you know something like that, an activity-based. Also, it's good to trade during the rush hour instead of all day. Rush hour, what's the rush hour? First hour and a half to two hours in the morning. Now, this is a great pattern for trading. You can immediately take this. You're going to test this. You're going to say, wow, this speaks to me. It's simple. Diagonal trend line break on the CCI. And of course, there are four other patterns I teach along with robust setups, filters, nuances, that's outside of the scope of today's discussion. I'd say 50% of the trades are accomplished with the diagonal trend line break. So immediately you can start testing this. Key point to remember, draw that line starting at minus or plus 150. Better trades are in markets showing momentum. Okay. You're going to use that 14 period CCI for intraday charts below 60 minutes. Entry rules. 
diagonal trend line break with the trend. That's key with the trend. Because only until you've mastered trend trading should you consider counter trend trading. Now we're going to draw from the plus or minus 150 line. Use a confirmation price bar unless the trend is super strong. What does that mean? Well, if you're working with a small time frame chart, it's a fast chart, I'm assuming. So it's not going to hurt to let one more price bar print in your intended direction to confirm. That's all I'm saying. Now let's talk about a stop, protective stop. Intraday, if you're going, this is a great stop, okay? It is a great protective stop. If you're going to go long, place your stop below either your trigger bar or the prior price bar to the trigger bar. Whoever's lower. If you are going to go short, place your stop above the trigger price bar or prior bar, whoever is, is uh, higher. Okay, I'll show you this. Let's just take an example here. First trade. There's a signal where the vertical line is. So, if that's a signal, I take the trade on the next one. Well, here's where my protective stop goes, right up here, just above here, okay? Just above it. What does that mean, just above it? Oh, say about three ticks. Three to five ticks. These are range bars, by the way. Range bar means that the price moves in a range of 10 ticks before it prints. Okay, so it moves a range of $100 on crude before it prints. All right, let's get this other one. Here's the trade, okay. Now, here's the trigger. The prior bar is higher, so we place our protective stop right here. You know what I like about this? It's a mechanical stop. There's no guesswork. Every single trade uses the same type stop. And that's important. Eliminates guesswork. Diagonal trend line break here. Okay, where's the stop? Right here. Okay, right there. Just above it, three, three, five ticks above it, that's all. Here's another one. Okay, the prior bar is right here. Put it right up here. Okay. How simple is that? All right, good. I think you get the idea. Now, protective stops are very personal. And, and you need to think of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Do you remember that story, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, right? We're, called, we're talking about breaking and entering, right? So, the thing is, she was never satisfied until, I don't know, she finally found the right porridge, the right bed to sleep in. Well, protective stops are the same way. Your protective stop has to speak to you. I am suggesting that you base your protective stop on mechanical chart action rather than emotion. All right? Now, what about uh, profit considerations? Well, today I told you I had a bias. I'm sorry. It's election day in the U.S. And, I mean, in my mind, anything can happen. All you need is some news report, some, you know, something ridiculous was said or could happen or whatever on election day. So I don't mind using profit targets. And, of course, I'm trading a, a, a trade room Tuesday through Thursday. And sometimes it's just difficult for me to trade and teach, and profit targets are easy. Just, you know, take the profit targets. So if you're tired, if you, you're feeling like, eh, you know, I don't know about this, day, go in and out. Use the profit targets. What else can you do? Well, you can use the indicator. If the CCI has started turning, say it's been up and it turns at the 150 line towards zero, well, that's your first warning. Hello, mo momentum might be leaving. If it crosses the 100 line, it's been up and it crosses back through 100 line, you better be out. The 100 line is minor support and resistance. 
150 line is minor support and resistance. If price touches a channel line, well, I just showed you yesterday's trading how price banged back and forth in that channel. So if it touches a channel line, we expect the line to hold until it doesn't. So obviously a good place to take a profit. And then there's trailing stop. And the trailing stop is the way that people make uh, money, I believe. So in this trailing stop here, 530 bucks now at this print, um, the initial, this is two contracts, and the initial risk was uh, 160 bucks. That's 80 bucks a contract. And that's good because a lot of times this is wanting to risk, uh, I don't know, 200 bucks a contract. But it, it decided, based on how it looks at what's happened in the price action, that if this move is going to work, we only need to risk 80 bucks a contract. Once it gets going, this is the trailing stop, this pink line here, okay? So even though my initial protective stop is down here, as the pink dot moves up, your your stop is moving up, okay? It's moving up. As price goes up, it is moving up, okay? It's moving up. And what this does is, if we come down and touch the stop and keep going up, no problem. If we close below the stop, then you get taken out. So, this thing allows you to trail for a much longer time. Got it? Trailing stops are wonderful. Trailing stops are, will make up for little small losses that you might have taken. That's, you need to really work on understanding trailing stops, whether you use my style or someone else's style, the trailing stop, you really need to focus on how you develop something that speaks to you with the trailing stop, okay? It's that important. It really is. It really is. Okay, let me get this erase. Now, I create no-go rules. So as I mentioned before, I'm not interested in trading, taking a trade if the range is around 200 bucks, you know, 200, 225, 230, something like that, 250. I'm not interested, I'm sorry, because I'm, I'm working with a momentum indicator. I expect momentum. So if we're in a $200 range, I know that I have greatly reduced probabilities. I know that. By the time I enter, they're liable to just cut me and then it's like, okay, well, that hurt. And then we go nowhere. So I might as well relax. I must let price resolve the issue. Because if they don't know what they're doing, if they don't know where they want to take it, how on earth can I trade this? I mean, let's use common sense here, right? Meanwhile, as long as we're trading in a very tight range, your oscillator, I don't care whose oscillator you're using, most likely is going to be giving false signals and chopping you up. Let price resolve the chop. That's all I'm asking. Very, very common sense approach. Forget it. If they don't know, you don't know. When they decide, then you decide. And we have rules to take advantage of that. All right. Everything I've talked to you about today is robust across any instrument, across any time frame. Yes, a 15-minute. Yes, a 30-minute. Forex traders love a four-hour chart. Yes, it works on a four-hour chart. What is the rule here? If an action repeats, we can trade it. Now, day trading, I prefer activity-based charts rather than a time-based. So, I don't know. I, I use a 10-range bar now for most of the stuff. Um, some, if it's too fast for you, back it up. Back it up to 15 range bar. On crude, I'll look at a 10 for tactical entry. I'm watching also the 20. Watching the 20. Uh, I traded the 512 tick chart for years on Euro and crude and Russell 2000. Okay, 
but now I, I really like the range bars. Okay, I just want to go through this really quickly and see if this will help you. And my time's almost up. Um, momentum traders, you believe you're in the business here, in the trading, for the long haul, taking a series of trades, converting to cash quickly. Runners are for longer term moves. Trade multiple contracts rather than pin your hopes on a single contract. Now, I'm not talking about trade 10 or 15. I'm trade, take at least two, two to three, at least two, okay? In my examples, I show two, because I want people to see the power of the runner. But you paper trade prior to using any real money, and you understand that your ego and your mind are working sometimes for you, sometimes against you, and you trade with this weakness in your mind. You say, okay, I know. I've got to be as mechanical as possible. All right? My weakness is a reminder of what I must avoid. Let's see here. Day trading mind. Fast action, fast profits, or fast losses. You must react. You trade with clear charts. People have 15 different things on the charts. How can they make a decision for day trading, really? How? You know? Too many decision points. If you linger, you miss the trade. The day trading is not position trading, although sometimes if I call a position trade, I'll say, now you can start this as a day trade. We did that on coffee recently. Uh, the focus on day trading is knowing you have a trading edge over time. So the day trading mind, day trading is never about the result of an individual trade. It is never about the result of an individual day of trading. This is never about the results of a week of trading, okay? The day trading mind, the number one concern is what does your system look like over time? So I would say at minimum, you test your own system with a three month look back. And understand that all day traders experience drawdown if markets are simply not moving. The last year in August, the first two weeks of August in equity index futures trading was absolutely awful. And the same thing happened this year. Why is that? Because the traders are on vacation in USA and Europe. That's it. Gold and crude was moving this year. Day trading, this is a numbers game. You get in and you get out taking a series of trades rather than pin your hopes on a huge trade of the century. Your ego makes you think you're going to get the trade of the day. Experienced traders know that we are the mouse under the banquet table looking for crumbs during the intraday trading noise. Now that's important, okay? Uh, intraday trading, price runs up and down. The day trader has a trend and counter trend trading strategies capturing these moves. The more you trade, the more your system has a chance to prove itself as long as you trade your plan as perfectly as possible. In this sense, you are no different than the guy who is a professional card player playing blackjack. You're no different. They have a system, they're going to have losses, and they know that over time they're going to win. It's the same concept that, that the casinos use to take your money. They have a very, very, very small edge. But over time, look at what built Las Vegas. All right. Um, you've got to accept responsibility. How do you react under the pressure of loss? How do you react when the trade looks really strong? Do you move your profit targets or you follow your plan? What if the trade moves strongly and then suddenly reverses? How do you feel? Okay. This is a big mind game. This just, and day trading is the worst. Okay. A lot of people fail at day trading because they forget about thinking like an elephant. An elephant gets mighty big eating peanuts. The day trader capturing a series of trades, then leaving the game, waiting for the next trade, is happy, even if they miss the trade of the century. All right, um, Renee, how am I doing on my time here? I just want to—I don't want to to uh, go over my time here. Uh, you do still have about five minutes left since we got started a okay. little late. Thank you, thank you. So, um, when you are day trading, can you quit while you're ahead or do you need just one more trade? Do you have to sit in front of the computer? I, I don't. I refuse. I've been there, done that. 
been there, done that. I'm not doing that. I don't, I don't need to do that, right? You should be able to have a system where you can trade in the morning, win the rush hour. Um, remember that the longer you sit there, the professionals have one goal. They want to make money. And the longer you sit there, if you get sloppy, they take your money. Now, if a trader can make just 200 bucks in one day, that's $1,000 in five days. Five trading days in a week, four weeks of trading five days a week, making 200 bucks a day, that's four grand for the month. Now, this is the lure of trading, but gosh, once you start trading, your mind becomes the enemy, right? You think, well, gosh, you know, this almost looks right. Gee, I think I'll add an extra contract. It worked before. So you've got to be aware of the mind games exist. You've got to thwart the enemy. You understand that? All right, so I could go on, but I'm not. Um, if you have to, tell your broker, look, you program that I can only trade X amount of contracts until I tell you otherwise. Or you tell the broker, shut me down if I lose X amount of money in one day. The broker wants to help you stay in the game. So ask what tools they have to keep you from financially harming yourself, okay? And if you tell the broker, look, I only want to lose you know, X amount of dollars, that is not relied on as a stop-loss order because fast markets can blow through that. Just understand that. I would suggest you consider a semi-automated trading system where you have your strategy signals, uh, you see the signals, you decide if you take it, you enter the trade, and you have automatic targets and protective stop orders launched. This is your order cancel order type business, okay? And then you simply sit back and manage the trade. So we buy into the freedom of day trading, but the, the reality is this is an extremely tough business, and chance favors the prepared mind. Control your mind or please stop trading immediately. I'm going to cut it off here. I just want to remind you, if you're interested in any of the stuff that I talked about, please check out uh, hitthemarktrading.com. That's my website. Um, I, the course descriptions are there. Um, I've got recordings of my boot camps. You're going to learn a lot. And it's... Uh, I really am concerned about people doing well, and I appreciate your attention today. Renee, I appreciate the opportunity very much. Again, that's um, hitthemarktrading.com, or you can send me an email at, uh, that's what it is, martin at hitthemarktrading.com. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.